In this short tutorial, I'm going to explain how to draw a cute bird illustration using my fine liner brushes. During the process, I will explain how to use the complementing stippling and outline brushes to good effect. As you can see, I already have my brushes loaded here in the brushes tab. Now, full instructions come with the pack explaining how to load them, so I'm not going to cover that here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is place some outlines around the edges. And to do this, I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on the outline layer here and that I've got the brush tool selected on the toolbar. And all you do is click on that. And now I just need to select a brush. And I'm going to use this one here, which is called Fine Liner Anti Stretch. It's basically the go to brush for any kind of mid length to long outline, and it'll do that without distorting. Um, there are some shorter brushes for very short lines, um, but this is the one I'm going to use now. So to select it, I just click on it like so. And to draw, simply just click and drag following the outlines like so. As you can see here, it hasn't quite gone to the end of the line. So I can manipulate the drawn lines, which is one of the great things about Illustrator is nothing is ever cast in stone. You can redo anything. So I'm going to use the direct selection tool and click the end node here and simply drag that out. And now I'll quickly add the other lines using the same brush. And there you have the basic outlines of the bird. Now at this stage, I just want to give you a really useful tip. You may have noticed in the previous section that I was smoothing out some of the lines as I went. And you do that by using Illustrator's Smooth tool, um, which is incredibly useful and will save you hours. And so to use that, I'm going to select a line here, which is a little jagged. And I'm going to select the pencil tool and I'm going to hold down the Alt key, keeping it held down as I smooth over the lines. As you see, that just smoothed out the line. And I'm going to do the same here. So pencil tool selected, Alt key selected, and there we go. Now I think the lines that I've created are maybe a little thin, so I'm going to fatten them up. And to do that, I'm going to select them with the selection tool like so and all I'm going to do is adjust the stroke weight here that's maybe a little bit too thick try 1.5 points yeah I think that looks better I'm now going to add some tapered strokes on the feathers here uh, which go from fat to thin and there are three of these to choose from, so I'm just going to select one and select the brush tool again and just draw a line like so. A 
Before I add the stipple shading, I'm going to place a few colors in, and these are just going to be basic vector shapes. And now for the final stage, the stipple shading. And there are a number of stipple shading brushes included in the pack. You have a set of scatter brushes here, and there are also some pattern brushes here. Now I'm gonna use the scatter brushes for this shading. So uh, like any other brush, you simply click on it, make sure you've got the brush tool selected, and click and draw a line. Now I'm just gonna change the color there to black. The great thing about these is you can just continue to layer them up to create deeper tones. So that's about three layers, that looks good there. Now as you can see the stipple shading overspills the edge of the design. So the next step is to crop the stippling. And to do that I'm just going to create a basic outline around the area that I'd like to crop. So I'm going to do this with the pen tool. like so, and making sure that this new shape is above the stippling in the stacking order, select the shape and select the stippling that you'd like to crop. Then go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. As you can see, that crops it straight away. Now it's worth noting that you can adjust the mask afterwards, so you can see there's a little bit of white poking through here, so I just adjust the mask like so and you can also adjust the strokes inside as well so you can select them and move them about everything's still live. So to finish off I'm just going to add a little bit of extra stippling and colour in the eye and then it'll be done. Looking at the finished bird, I feel it needs a tiny bit more detail on the wings. So I'm gonna use one of these dashed line brushes to just add a bit of detail here. So I'm gonna again select the brush tool and I'm gonna select one of these brushes here by clicking on it. And simply draw a short line. Like so. That maybe looks a bit crowded, so I'll try swapping one of the other brushes. Yeah, that one looks good. And just reposition it slightly. I think I'm also going to add a little line here by the eye using one of the very short brushes just to add a final bit of character to the eye. And there it is, the finished bird. Thanks for watching.